Okay, everyone, this is my third video, and um, all the, uh, my, my first and second video got uploaded. It was no problem with that. Um, big ups to Social Cam. Uh, I love it. Uh, when I video with Social Cam, all I got to do is tell it where I want it to go. It goes to YouTube, it goes to Facebook, and I, I have it set up to go somewhere else, and it's never a problem. The only problem I've had sometime with social cam is sometimes they load two and three videos up on your page at the same time. So a lot of times when uh, I upload a video, I have to go to a desktop to make sure because I hate all that same thing um, piled up on my page. So usually I have to go and delete one. But so far today it's been going good. Okay, so we're on the third video, and I said in, in this video I was going to go into detail what has been going on with my journey with worship and dance from my first video in January until now. Okay, let me start off by saying uh, I'm not going to use any names, and um, some things that I've done, nobody knows who it is or who I'm talking about or speaking about. Uh, unless you comment on this or unless you say something. So um, I mean this not to offend anybody and not to start any controversy or problems. Like I said, I'm just recording my journey and keeping it real, but um, I will keep it in decency and order and not use any names. Um, can y'all hold for a moment? I, it's, it's hot in here and I think I have my heater up too much. So instead of moving the camera and everything, I'll be right back. All right, you guys. <laughs> so sorry. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, as you know, when I started in January, I was doing it from my home. Uh, I had a couple of girls. I, let me start back saying from the beginning, I was volunteering doing this at first because I wanted to see um, what was it like working with children and if I loved it or not. And I did. But then I wanted to make a business of it, as you guys know. So going from volunteering to trying to make a business of it is was totally something different. Totally. I volunteered a lot to get my name out there so people can see what I was um, doing. I always wanted my I always wanted a church to be my foundation. I wanted to uh, have a church home where I could uh, start up a dance group in the church and that would be my volunteer there, my service that I'm putting in my church. Let me say this, I take church very serious. I become married to it. It's a family. I'm, I'm, I'm always there doing something, planting some type of, of seed in my church or helping the kingdom for whatever it needs as far as my gifts and what I could contribute to it. And all that was fine. However, I've learned since I wanted to get into the business part of a church and my studio, that was something totally different. Now, I'm, negative. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking because I don't want to start any controversy but where I was I, I grew up there I was there for 20 some years I felt like it wasn't any room for me to do what I wanted to do because it was so many other groups and things going on at our church and it it wasn't a large church and so um, it's just one of them things 
I'm going to say like this, I don't, I don't think it was room for me to grow and, and do what I needed to do on the level that I wanted to do it on and you know that's that's all about that so I went ahead and started my own studio at home now I've learned with church this is just my opinion please I don't want a lot of church people or pastors or bishops or anything to make a comment but my experience that I've learned with church it, it some churches it's a business too and so I thought you know, when I was networking with churches, I could, you know, again, I thought I could just be like, oh, I love the Lord, I want to dance, whoosh, and start a business, and it just doesn't work that way. I've learned so much, you know, um, I've learned some things where if you have a church as your foundation and you're marketing your own business, you have some problems with, you know, other churches because they think you're trying to recruit to your church, and so... Some areas I believed I needed to um, be on my own and just as worship and dance. So, um, really trying to not go into it and, and you know, but anyway. Um, and so that's all I, I, I want to say about that. As you guys know, um, again, I was doing it from my home. I had about two or three girls. And then I uh, wanted to get started on my praise exercise. And I wanted my praise exercise to go in. Uh, um, I had a vision about how I wanted that to go. So uh, I networked, and I, I got a young lady who allowed me to, you guys know my posts go out by LSU and do what I did with her and my one-on-one -on -one training that I was doing here at the house and I was seeing where I want to go with that and I've learned with that is a very time consuming and you you do put a lot into it and big up to my girls on Facebook who are doing it much love and and, and much respect for, for what you do um, and so I've learned in that aspect of it let me say when I got into doing what I was doing in networking and being on Facebook and, and talking to other people who were doing what I was doing, I was searching for help because it was some things I just didn't know. And I believed in knowledge is power. So I got with other people and, and I asked questions. I took classes. And some people were very much loving and helpful to what I was trying to do and giving me feedback and uh, letting me know some things to help me and to be honest with you some people weren't That's just the way it is. I don't know if because we were doing the same thing or um, They had a complex or whatever, but it is what it is and um, And some things I just like I said did at home um, Just researching and, and getting out there and finding out about it And if I wanted to find out about some things I even took a class in it um, you know, so um, that was that. And then I got to the point I wanted to explore. So I got with my church and I was able to start my summer camp, which you guys know that happened. I had got with some, um, I had got with two or three sponsors that wanted to see what I was able to do, um, on my own and how many people I can get in with worship and dance summer camp and once the camp was finished they were going to get together and um, give me an amount to start open my studio and, and do what I need to do. Did the summer camp at my church that didn't go so well. I guess it was some things that I didn't um, discuss and again it was just ignorance not knowing and that's why I'm able to share it with you because I've learned and um, I know better next time but I didn't uh, there were some things that I didn't put into an account and I just that's all I'm gonna say and so um, I've learned not to make a decision out of anger and emotions because things didn't go right there so I was like I'll just take my summer camp to my home <laughs> And my home wasn't prepared to do 
at that time what I was doing with my summer camp I was you know I was picking kids up dropping them off I was cook I was teacher <laughs> um, I did it all and you guys Sometime I look back and I don't know how I did it. It was nothing but God um, seeing me through. I, I remember times just praying, Lord, just let me get through this summer camp because you know I didn't. I um, the parents were so supportive because y'all y'all know how I am. Um, I've always been honest from the start, and I was telling the parents, you know, hey, I'm just getting started. This is what I'm trying to do, and everybody was on board, and I think that's why my fees were what they were. They were pretty low, but I felt like because I was just starting off, you know, hey, give me a chance. I didn't want to, you know, charge too much, so um you can look at my posts and videos and all that. Um, I end up getting through summer camp here at my home, and it, it was beautiful. Very emotional at the end. Very emotional as proud of myself of what I was able to achieve um, with all the odds against me. Um, and then I grew because I learned what to do and what not to do. So after the summer camp, I... After going through so much there, I was really starting to contemplate, you know, if this is what I'm supposed to do. Because I didn't want to just go work and, you know, teach at a brick or a YMCA, you know, been there, done that. And, um, again, I really believed in the concept and what I was trying to do. So, my, my originality and creativity, I couldn't do that on top of working at Breck or a, uh, another camp or, or something because they had their rules and guidelines and they had their own concepts so you pretty much just go in and just do what they want and that was it and, and I didn't want to do that I had a vision and um, I pretty much wanted to stick to it so again I was marketing um, on Facebook and I was able to get with someone and we decided to partner up and at that time for me with their you know that the summer camp pretty much just cleaned me out financially because when I left the church you know the kids were able to eat um, free breakfast and lunch and I provide the snacks um, because we used to go to a school and they would feed them. Well, that's why I learned not to make a decision out of anger. When I came to my house, I didn't have a school to take them. I didn't prepare for all that. So I had to cook for 12 and 13 kids breakfast, lunch, and snack. And, you know, make sure they were picked up and make sure they got home. And um, that's very emotional for me, but that that is what it is, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. I, I, all I can say is that I truly grew um, with that. So um, again, I'm almost at 15 minutes. I don't like. I wish I could just do one video and just let it be long, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. But it's a problem when I do that. Again, I don't have time to try to figure it out. So this video is almost up. I'm gonna go ahead and post this one, and I think my last video sh should go ahead and. Um, finish it up but let me just end it with this saying that um, with the summer camp the the way it was uh, I had decided to uh, connect with someone and we went into a partnership and um, as I stated 50% um, of my business was better than 100% of nothing because it got to the point it was just the name but nothing was happening because as I stated what I went through um, you know that journey with the summer camp so um, as I said I'm gonna go ahead and stop I'm gonna go ahead and post and my last video should be uh, well my next video should be the last one this is the third the next one should be the fourth one so um, stay tuned bye bye